In today's video, I am going to be breaking down some simple box inbounds plays that you can run with pretty much any team of any age that are super simple for pretty much anybody to run. So let's get down. Let's check these out really quickly. If you're looking at what app I'm trying to use, it's called playbook and you can go check it out in the link in the description below for 10% off but also make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense book that is down there as well so that your team can double the low post and trap the corners and not allow anybody to be open so let's get down let's check out these plays this first play is actually a lot of fun and what we are going to do is have player four he's going to set a screen down for player three player five is going to then set a screen roughly in the middle of the key. This is what we call a staggered screen. After they set those screens, player three is going to run off and he's going to go out towards this corner. At this time, we are then going to be having player four trying to post his man up right here and player two is going to set that screen for player five to go down into the low post. We now have player one having three options. He can pass to player three, player five or player four. Player two is then going to cut out and he will be the safety as the fourth option. Next is going to be what I generally call box two. This is a play that I personally use. Now in this play we're going to set a screen across away from the ball. Both of these players are going to do the same. This player is going to be generally a low post player. This player is going to be generally a shooter. There's a reason for this. After players three and four set those screens, player five is going to then go and post up right here. And player two is going to use that screen and he's going to go out towards this wing. For younger teams, these two options should be open. We would then have player three posting up as a fourth option and player four popping out as the relief or safety for the fourth option. However, what we can do with older age groups after they set these screens and after player five and two uses those screens, we can have player three set a screen up for player four as the third option and then player three would then be the relief or safety as the fourth option but this is a generally secondary option with older more advanced age groups this next play is going to be generally with bigs that are in the high post and some shorter guards forwards players who can shoot generally in the low post what we're looking to do here is to set back screens on players four and five after players four and five use those screens they're going to cut down towards the low post and they could be open for those layups. They are going to be our two first options in this play. Player two is then going to fill out or sprint out to the wing. He's going to be our third option. And then player three after his screen is going to then pop out and be our relief. With older age groups, after players two and three set that screen, player two could turn and player three could use player two as a screen and then player two would be the relief. Player three would then be our third option if players four and five are not open for their layups. This is a super simple play that you could even run with like nine year old teams and they should be able to understand it. This is a play that I personally call box loop because we're looping around. The idea here is to confuse the defense. So we're gonna have player two, instead of screening across, like in box two, we could, if we ran box two too many times, let's say we did box two like 20 times and they finally figured it out and said, we're not gonna get messed over, screwed over by this play once again. We can call out box two, but in a timeout, we would call it box loop. We would explain to our players, we're gonna call box two now box, uh, box loop now box two. Box loop is going to be player two sprinting around player five, and then curling back in. Player three is going to do the exact same, except he's going to then pop out towards this wing. The idea here is now this player is going to get caught up. The defender is going to get caught up. One of these players is going to be wide open for their layup. 
Now, you can take this one step further. You can have player five do a loop around four. That's up to you. Personally, with younger age groups, I just have him post up here and player four become relief. However, you could have him loop around after he sets that first screen and he could be the third option. And I personally really like that as a third option myself. These are super simple baseline inbounds plays that you can even run on the sideline as well. This is actually a great option for you. So if we go back, down to the clipboard we can run it as a sideline inbounds play as well where we would have player five and four set those screens across player two and three would then be open and you could even use it as a quick hitter like an ato player and play an after timeout play where you can get yourself an easy three-point shot by one of these two players so just as a heads up this is actually an opportunity or an option that you can run here too I personally like to use the same inbounds plays for both sideline and baseline because it gives us different options and you can even still have your man inbound or your girl inbound at half court and still run the same baseline inbounds plays and still be able to have them open. I hope that these plays help you. Make sure to go check out the app that's down in the description below because it's good for the iPhone as well as the iPad. But also, if you want an unbeatable defense, make sure to go check out my Unbeatable Basketball Zone defense book that is down in the description below as well.